So the way this video was supposed to work, I was going to review, and I still am, a couple of benefit products that are new out that are sort of a one swipe and done type of deal. And what I had planned on doing is putting some of them on, wearing some of them, and doing the video with them on, but they were such a disaster that I had to take them off and just do a total totally different look. The two products I'm talking about are Benefits Their Real Big Sexy Lip Kit and Benefits Their Real Big Sexy Eye Kit. <sighs> so I tried both of these products out today. I tried them over and over and over again. I took the stuff off my eyes about 15 times. It was a total disaster. The lipsticks were not any better. So a viewer had asked me to review the Big Sexy Lip Kit. This is a very unusual product. So you get, it is a kit. You get four different lip colors in the kit. So what's unusual about this is, first of all, the giant metal tin. I mean, what is really unusual about these is you have a lipstick, okay? And then you scroll it up from the bottom. Here's your bullet, but the top part of the bullet is a liner and the bottom part is a lipstick. So here is a little bullet. Here's your liner and there's your lipstick end. So this is trying to be sort of a one swipe product to where you don't have to mess with lip liner and then mess with the lipstick. And I found it just a total disappointment in so many different ways. Let me show you first the colors and how they went on. I did do another look from my wonderful Lorac Mega Pro 3 today. If you want to know which colors I used, I will let, tell you at the end of this video. Okay, so first of all, we have the color called Flame Game. It is a bright, brilliant, brilliant orange with a little bit deeper orange tip for your lip liner color. Let me show you on the back of my hand and then on my actual lips. This, first of all, it's way too bright. I could never wear a color like this. Some people can, that's fine. But what's weird about these products is they are very balm-like. They're like a tinted balm. You'd think for something that's kind of trying to be a one swipe lip product that you would want it to have quite a bit of pigmentation so that you swipe it on. You don't have to go back and redo the lip liner over and over and over again, which is what I was having to do with these products. But the both the liner and the lipstick seem to be the same formula, and they're very tinted balm-like. They're not like a full-on, full-coverage lipstick at all. So here's a couple of different swipes of that flame game. I can't really see where the lip liner is and where the lipstick is on here. Let me do the liner here and the lipstick here. Okay, the lipstick has a little more um, pigmentation. This liner is just streaky and the colors, um, you know, for a liner, it's not lining. This liner is like a tinted balm. The lipstick is a little bit better, but the liner is streaky and unevenly pigmented like a tinted balm. Next color is called Pink Thrills. Pink Thrills. So there is a lot more contrast between the liner and the lipstick in this one. You can see the two totally different colors. So I'm streaking it on and look at the lack, total lack of pigmentation. Now they feel good when you put them on. They do feel good. They're very um, balm and hydrating, healthy feeling. Okay, here, if I go back and forth a couple times, than there. You get some you get some more tint out of it. But the other problem I found with these is you're going along and you're lining, you're doing your top lips, that's fine. Then you have to reverse it to do your bottom lips and get the lip liner in the right place. And that and if you're using your right hand, which most people will be, you're you're kind of doing it blind because your hand is in the way and you can't really see where to put it. Now it's next is revved up red. Again, not a whole lot of color difference between the liner and the lipstick on this one. See, it's just all kind of fades into one. There's not even a gradation. Yeah, you don't want your liner to be like, oh, this is a liner and here's the lipstick, but there's no gradation there between the liner and the lipstick. Next we have Lusty Rose. This was, I think, the most wearable of these colors for me. Lusty Rose looks like this. Let me just sweep back and forth. There's quite a bit of di color difference between the lips liner and the lipstick. In this. this one on, you know, once again, quite lightweight, quite sheer. I just don't, 
I just don't like them. Okay, so none of those really worked out at all. Now let's go on to the eye kit. The eye kit is much smaller. It's still in this big, extremely heavy and bulky metal box. What you have here, very, very different, is trying to be a one swipe and done eye look. You Three different colors here, and then this is your little blender, sponge blender, that you apply these with. I really don't know how else you would apply these except with this sponge blender, and that presents a problem. I'll show you in the video how I tried to apply these with just a pointed kind of beauty blender, and it t totally did not work. So these colors up here are called Beyond Nude. This one is called Naughty Neutral, and these are called Bombshell Brown. So you're trying to sweep across these, get a contour color and a lid color in one sweep, sweep that on your eye, maybe blend a little bit, and you're good to go. Well, they didn't really work out too great. Here's the little puff ball that you have. It has a little plastic handle. I've used this one and used it and used it. And let me show you how these went on. Okay, so taking this little applicator and going back and forth a couple of times. And I'm kind of rolling it to get the lid color down where the lid should be. You could continue to use the little applicator, I guess, to try to buff it out, but now I'm confused about which end of the applicator has the dark color and which has the lighter color. I'm all confused, so I'm just going to use a blending brush and sort of blend it. I really don't like this crease color. It's not, it's too pink. It's very pinkish, kind of. I like my creases a little more neutral. Now let's try the other eye. I don't really know how to clean this little applicator off and completely wash it with soap and water, but then it's gonna be wet and you're not gonna be able to use it for a while. So rubbing it on my towel in between doing these two different eyes. So if something happens to this applicator, what are you going to apply this product with? Let's try just a sort of normal dry beauty blender and see what that does because there's no way you can't really, if you put it on with brushes, then you're just doing what you normally would do with a couple of eyeshadows and brushes, just putting them on as regular eyeshadows. The idea of this is a one swipe and done. So let's try to one swipe it. Okay, I went across one time. Let's go across another time, really load it up. And uh, I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh. Um, yeah, <laughs> it didn't work. <sighs> okay, so if you lose this or it breaks, this little rubber falls off, I don't know what you're going to do. This thing is actually pretty good at applying the stuff and putting it where you want to put it, but once it's kind of, you know, gone, it's gone. So these colors are not bad. Um, I like them better than the pink one. But this one is Naughty Neutral. This one is Beyond Nude. And these are with primed eyelids. Okay, total disaster there. Let me show you how they look just swiped like on the back of my hand. First of all, there's this one right here. See, it's not bad. It's just when your eye is curved and you're trying to get that in the right place, it doesn't go in the right place. The colors are not bad on a couple of these. This middle one here, it, it just the that inner or that deeper color is just too pink for me for a crease color. This last set here is what I had planned on wearing for you guys and I figured well this is gonna you know this is right up my alley color wise I'll just wear that I'll put some eyeliner and mascara on and and then and I can do a video with that well the crease color went on so dark and I could not blend it out it had streaks all in it I couldn't blend it out the colors are not bad, but then you'd have to get your brush and blend and rearrange and reapply the lid. So this just, um, they're, they're, you know, they're pretty colors. They just are hard to put on. So, no big sexy here today. These kits didn't work for me at all. Coming up, Tom Ford Lip Contour Duo. I did receive that and I've been playing around with it. I'll let you know about that. So using my wonderful Lorac Mega Pro 3 today, here's another look I got from it. Um, some people are saying that this palette is not a great palette. I like this one the best out of all the Mega Pros because it doesn't have any crazy colors in it. I don't need crazy colors. I don't need an electric blue. I don't need a forest uh, a emerald green. I don't need a hot pink. These are just nice toned down colors for me and they're not super bland neutrals to me. This one I feel like is just, it's perfect for me. I don't know 
why so many people are saying that it's not wonderful. But then I don't wear sapphire blue eyeshadow or yellow eyeshadow or... So what I did today, I started out with cider on the lid. Cider is a gorgeous orangey metallic. In the crease, I put the color called Walnut. We love Walnut, love it. Um, outer portion, like outer half of my lid, I did Brown Sugar. And then very outer corner, I did Deep Fog. I was a little worried that Deep Fog was not gonna come through with enough coverage to show up in that corner, but oh. it absolutely did. I really am proud of them for that. Lined under my eye in Walnut again. I'm going to use Walnut and Walnut and Walnut. I'm going to use that one over and over again. And then I brought some Deep Fog on the outside and blended those in. And then my inner corner, I did a little bit of this Bellini color. Oh, I did order. Yay, from Lancome. Okay, so for the last two, day, two years from Lancome, they've come out with this Audacity in Paris eyeshadow palette. Last year I got it. I wasn't real happy with it because I felt like a lot of the colors were exactly the same. This year it looks so pretty. It has all these really light greens in it. It has these beautiful frosty lavenders. I ordered it. It's on its way. So can't wait to show that to you guys. Hopefully that one will be better than the one last year. Join me for that video and all the rest of my exciting makeup travels. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.